and welcome back inside the extra point here on WEGM 911 and Eagle Eye TV. Hello, everybody. Jared Dillon joining me in the studio is Carter Bird, Devin Foreman, and Jack Hart. Are we are we all okay? I'm great. The question is, Devin okay? Sad. He's been <laughs> he's, he's been stewing for the last seven minutes about Cole Anthony and Garrison Brooks and their relationship on the basketball court. We'll let it. We'll let them stew. Garrison, get your. Okay, get your. Uh, uh, that, that's my boy, man. Get your, Garrison. Please. Y'all ain't making it to nowhere. Okay? Playing team ball, that's over with. To answer your question, that's Cole, over with. Cole Anthony is shooting 35% from the field. Get your, Garrison. I don't think I. I don't think I. Garrison I Brooks, get yours. Okay? I'm saying that. I'm, no, no. Put it, hey, put me on a single screen right here. I want to look at me right quick. All right. Garrison Brooks, I love you, bro. Like, you and my dog, but I love you so much, bro. You putting on for the city, man. Thank you so much. Forget Cole Anthony. Forget North Carolina. Forget all that. Get your, bro. All right? When Cole Anthony went up 35, 10, that's what we need every night. Forget him. Get your, bro. I love you, man. Shout out to you, man. Garrison Brooks. Was that the extra points first call-out post? It is on Twitter, so I guess so. <laughs> Uh, no, you don't, bro. Are we ready for uniform factor? I'm heck yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. All right, let's get into it. Now, form factor is a term I learned in my occupational safety and ergonomics class. Does powder blue ever look bad? Ever? Absolutely not. I can't name one team. <laughs> That's the worst helmet I've ever seen. I mean, part of the fun of throwbacks is that we're all in on the joke that they look terrible. Bird is awful, but the jerseys themselves are sick. Dude, this is clean, man. Hey, when they rock and eat. Any thoughts on this Browns-Broncos matchup, Carter? The game itself? The uniforms. Uniform factor. This is what we're here for. Fresh quotes in the intro. Like stuff I've said in the, within the last like two three weeks. That was was so he was he not here for last week when we played the same <laughs> he intro? Was, he was reeling last week. Okay, <laughs> I'm about to say. Well, it's because maybe I was thrown off by the carnival <laughs> music that was being played in the intro. It takes a lot. It's it's a lot to process. All right, Jack. First things up are these Team USA fits. Yeah, Team USA uh, 2020 Olympics, as we all know, coming up. In the summer, and Nike, the official outfitter of Team USA, has begun to roll out the beginnings of what the uh, boys in red, white, and blue are going to be rocking out in Tokyo this summer. Um, so to start, we have the uh, soccer or uh, football jerseys. Um, looks like home and away. The white is probably... As generic as you can get for a soccer jersey, it's basically a ringer T-shirt. With I the, still think it looks good, though. It looks good. It's got the the new like, uh, U.S. national team logo um, that's been uh, adopted in the past two years, and it has I kind of a throwback Nike look. It's wait, that, so does the men's logo have zero stars and the women's? Yeah, logo if you look has closely like, on what, that three, image, three or four stars, or how, how many stars is it? It's four now. If you look ah. closely on that image, you can see uh, the the lady in the blue has four stars on her logo. The man has not. Hey, it's okay because <laughs> we have the we have that new the new German kids gonna play for <laughs> Team USA this Olympics. Something I like about these um, soccer jerseys is that the Nike logo is actually the not just the swoosh; it has the Nike on top of it, kind of the uh, '80s look. And on top of that, the socks to go with it are very retro throwback. Uh, Soccer socks with uh, red, white, and blue striping with the Nike logo. So I really like the home jersey. Uh, the away jersey, the, the blue, I'm not a huge it looks fan. It bad. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's what soccer jerseys always do to make them. What is on the top right? It looks like. It's like, it's really zoomed in camouflage, it looks like. But it looks like a figure skater or something like bent weird or whatever. I don't even know. I don't like it. If it all, if they all look like that, I think they could have hit refresh on the generator a couple more times to get a better design. Maybe if they're all unique, I can let it slide. But don't love that for the uh, for the blue for the blue kit. Uh, moving on, we have the basketball jerseys for Team USA, which I think are a drastic um, difference. We have the. White one, which will be worn, uh, I supposedly, as the home uniform for both the men's and the women's team, which is pretty standard, save for the 
kind of red shouldering on top of the jersey. And then we have a red jersey for the ladies that was officially unveiled. And then a blue jersey that will be exclusively worn by the men as the road jersey that has not been officially unveiled yet, but was seen in the back of an interview with a Nike executive. So that is what the men and women of the basketball team will be wearing in Tokyo. So my thoughts on this is like, I don't hate the first two. Well, what the heck is the blue one? We are not that shade of blue. The United States flag is not that shade of blue. That that is the South Korean shade of blue. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Wow. What are we going for? I mean, here? yeah. Now that you point that out, like I, like it's a lighter blue. I mean, I that, think- like that like when I watch the men's team play this summer. That's going to make me angry that we're wearing the wrong color blue. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> fix it, Jared. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it would look a lot better and probably be better branding if it was that same color navy as the soccer uniforms. Um, I think, Or it's the flag. <laughs> yeah, and I think you can just America take, take some inspiration from that as well. Uh, I do love the American flag. Uh, where the where the ad usually is on NBA jerseys, there's an American flag, so USA to that. Sponsored by the United States of America. And uh, I think you can get away with the royal blue on the on the white and red jerseys, but when the blue is the jersey, it doesn't seem to have any other colored piping. There's no red piping on the blue jersey. It's just blue and white. You got to go with navy. There, there's literally no reason to go royal blue though. Hopefully, the reason they haven't unveiled it yet is because they're fixing it. But. Well, we, we can just giving you a sneak peek. And then lastly, uh, a bit of an oddball, the skateboarding team uniforms. Now, the, the I skateboarding? Need which that. looks straight out of a streetwear catalog. No, but it that looks is, straight out of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I need that. The shoes look awesome. The Guns socks though. look awesome. Am I wrong? No, that's legit. <laughs> no. I need that. <laughs> it These looks are, like something I've seen Will Smith wear on that show. These are super cool. I love I, them. Yeah, I need those. Uh, I need that. The the cargo pants are kind of a question mark, but other than that, I really like this look. And Does it have to I, be that big? I think they come in sizes. Devin. They got to go a little small. <laughs> That's look too, too big, but hey. I, I don't know I, the I'm average. I'm going to buy Devin whatever the baggiest, biggest version of the shirt is. <laughs> I'm going to give it to him. I don't know what the it. average frame of an Olympic <laughs> skateboard athlete would be. but Probably not very big. Oh, <laughs> so weak. I assume like 6'6", 350, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, so we're... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the, the next starting left tackle at Auburn. The power lifters kind of moonlight on <laughs> on the boards. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that does it for Team USA. It does it for Team USA. Let's move on to our next one, Jack. What is it? I believe we are looking at University of Miami baseball jerseys, which have come out these from better, Adidas. These better be cool, because because I haven't well, seen them, but they better be cool. Oh yeah, no! What's a what's a third? They're three well, fourths oh, cool. I'm looking at I'm, I'm waiting. Because they could do some cool stuff with with their look and everything. And you know, baseball jerseys always be legit. Yeah, and that's exactly oh what they're doing. Oh, my God. Yeah, so the first one, Ooh, uh, from left first to right. One. That it, first hasn't, one. it hasn't updated for me, so I don't. Pullover style jersey. <laughs> oh, I need that first one. Miami right, in here, script uh, with the Adidas logo in the top left. This is a 80s-esque pullover style jersey with or, um, orange and white piping on the green with white script. And then the cap is that classic gothic m miami baseball logo orange bill and green cap so that is the first one second going just from left to right here is a black uh cub style jersey with the gothic m uh, outlined in orange the numbers on the front and back are both in orange cap is black with an orange bill the third one is the breast cancer uniform but also goes off of the miami vice look it is a half pullover half button down in white with pink numbers and piping with a pink tricolor <laughs> cap with that gothic gamma. Then lastly, it's college baseball, so you got to throw in a digi camo look. The vest style jersey with digi camo sleeves and hat. This is the only hat that features the U of Miami and not the gothic M. So, all taken in front of the same fountain, these pictures. All right. I kind of hate the gothic M. I, I, they, <laughs> have they used it anywhere else? It's it's their baseball look. Okay, so that is like it, the it's normal. A, it's a classic. Yeah. Okay. It looks like trash. When when you're a school that's known as the U and your hand signals the U. And I mean, you, and we're the, not the, 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 the gothic the, M or whatever, whatever that is. When this is the logo, I'm trying to get the little, the little go, tails coming off the back of the M. Like this. 
I don't think the gothic M moves on the hat. Hey, that it first should. One, it that should be Halloween hard, hard, though. That first Are one we hard. inventing gift shirts? Yes. <laughs> it's like the, the numbers that change on the NBA jerseys. Hey, the that first one. That was a thing, on. wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Did we shelve that? Is that is or is that is that still coming? I think that's that's uh, on the Nate Silver docket. Yeah, that's such a. What's up, Devin? That pullover is not that pullover one is clean. Oh, the green. I can't wait that for the for the Javon McCormick five that switches to fifty five in crunch time in a few oh. years. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the sickest jersey ever. <laughs> um, I love the first one. Love I, the I first say, you one. Got to love the first one. Bro. Second one. Is very meh to me because I hate the number placement and I hate the gothic app. Third one, if you're gonna go Miami Vice, go all in on Miami Vice. But I need the, some, I need some neon turquoise. That turquoise, see that one. I need I was some thinking. neon turquoise would make that sick. They should have did the, the third one. Third throw one. it in the incinerator now because I hate it. <laughs> I, I Although, like, hey, I, I think we used the right logo. I, th- <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think the third one's just for the cause, though, right? Yeah, third one's for the cause, fourth one's for the troops. There okay. are ways. Yeah. I know how we're going to we're gonna twist this, and I'm not going to say it for it. You know, I, I'll say I, it. I don't like the digi camo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are ways to go with a camo nod without. Like, if you're going to go digi camo. Don't have the like solid green into the digi camo. I don't like that. Did Auburn retire the digi camo hats? No, I, I, they, there's no way we. No, did. they mean too much to that program. <laughs> we went on a run in the postseason in digi camo hats, well, didn't we? What did I say last? Was that was that last year? Or was that two? Years that was ago? last year. Yeah. What What did I say last year? If Auburn got <laughs> to Game Three of the World Series, like the final game, and they wore digital camo hats, I want them to lose. <laughs> I think that's what I said. See, yeah. Auburn's Auburn Auburn's digi camo needs to be orange and navy blue? and white. Oh. And rather than green and white. Fair, yes. Like if you're gonna go digi camo, have it be on color scheme. Because I think that would look better. You know? Rather than rather than throwing an off color, just generic army green up there. Overall, I really like this uh, change for Miami. But I hate the Gothic M. Staying with the ACC. The first one got to be Miami. Yeah, I think when uh, these were announced and when they were on the hardwood um, last Saturday, I think we all knew this was coming. To commemorate the 100th year of the Duke-North Carolina rivalry, Nike and Jordan, if you want to get technical, commissioned a pair of Duke and UNC jerseys to ring in the occasion. Man. In uh, Chapel Hill on Saturday, and and these were some really really cool practice jerseys. They looked like some really cool practice. Tra- jerseys. These are gonna be extra point All Star Game jerseys, track and field jerseys. Honestly, um, you get us just with the giant extra point logo on. These look terrible. Let's let let's not. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and debate. I'm not going to sit here and try to fake my way into a lie that oh, like it's innovative. Carolina blue always looks good. It it does when you don't have a giant NC on you know, like in covering everything up in the front. Yeah, I mean, I like that they went with the bold block colors. I mean, there's no unnecessary piping. That that picture in the top right looks really cool. That's a really cool basketball action shot because you can't see the front of the jerseys. You can't see the giant logos they slapped on top of the jersey. Yeah, I mean, you can get away with it maybe if it was kind of like just that. Just a Duke and Carolina. Beautiful. Would have oh, been. Would have been. been phenomenal. That would have been clean. But no, the reason behind no, this is because this is what basketball Carolina, jerseys used to look like, kind of, uh, before back in the olden days, a hundred years ago. But I don't think that's any excuse. You that be, make just make cool logos, and it'll speak for themselves. Make Duke I mean, they, Auburn football used to wear a. <laughs> jersey that was also kind of a onesie so i mean i don't see us doing that anymore Ooh, hey which one looked better back? though which one looked oh. better the duke or the north carolina one? i think duke looks better duke because of, duke has the the nice stripe around the shoulder and i can't tell from the pictures or not but i think unc has like gold trim i know they both have the gold tag on the back of the neck which nike puts on every I really don't want to talk uh, about organizations that's won right a now. national championship. Can we just not talk about NC right now. You know when you wear a shirt that's got like too big of a logo 
and you can like feel it when you move. <laughs> like I have a, I have a uh, All Star Game Nike All Star Game shirt. It's a dry fit shirt from when it was when the All Star Game MLB All Star Game went to Minnesota, and the logo is so big that like if I ever wear it. Uh, to go do physical activity, I can feel the logo on my chest. You get itchy. I can't imagine a massive st- stitched-on logo on the front of a jersey like this. It would infuriate me as a player. Devin's let- letting the air out of his boot right now, and it's distracting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that just about does it. Okay, I, I really don't want to look at these anymore. Okay, so we're done. We're done with uniform factor. We're ready to throw this back in the garbage. Put it back where it belongs, Jared. Put it back where it belongs. Let's head to a quick commercial break, and we come back. We're heading to the NBA here on the extra point. You don't want to miss that. We'll be back in about two minutes with the extra point here on WGL ninety one one and Eagle Eye TV.